Hey, what's going on everybody? Jace Cards here coming at you with the Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. Today we're going to be going over my Despia Invoked Shadal deck. For those of you that might know, I love playing Dogmatica Invoked Shadal. Um, I decided to take out the Dogmatica portion of the deck and put in the Despia package because their fusion monsters are really powerful. I felt like Dogmatica kind of conflicted with the fusion summoning part of the deck, you want to be able to bring out your fusion monsters. The Dogmatica cards restrict you from using your extra deck. I know there's some builds out there where people still play Eclatia and Maximus and and Floridalise and all that, so maybe I'll make another profile including those cards if that is something you guys still want to play. On top of that, the Dear Servant was reprinted in the tins recently, so people can actually get some of the Dogmatica cards easier now. But yeah, this is just Despia Invoked Shadal. I really like it. I've been having some success at Locals with it. Before we jump into it though, if you guys want to check out your playmat down in the comments below, you can get custom playmats such as this one that I got from them, as well as custom sleeves, mouse pads, other TCG accessories, any logo or artwork that you want on a product, they will put on here. And uh, for example, this playmat even has stitched edges. That's an option. I got the zones imprinted on here as well. You don't have to get the zones, but for Yu-Gi-Oh! I like seeing um, where the cards go and everything, especially if you're going to be doing remote duels. It's nice to have the zones on here. But I got my little chibi character on here, and I think it looks awesome. Really like the purple background and everything as well. So check out your playmat if you use my link or code down below. You can save 10% and you can also support the channel. All right, so starting off with the monsters, we're playing three copies of Alistair. Gotta play three as long as we have access to him at three. Very surprised they didn't hit invoked at all uh, on the ban list. So that's nice to see. For our Despias, I'm playing two copies of Alibur and two copies of Dramaturg. So with Alibur, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one branded spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. If a face-up fusion monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, and this card's in your graveyard, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, special summon this card, and if you do, negate the targeted monster's effects until the end of this turn. This card's really powerful. I don't feel like you need three but two is really nice, and I'm also playing the two Dramaturg here. So with Dramaturg, um, if a fusion, synchro, exceed, or link monster is special summoned, you can target one effect monster on the field, negate its effects until the end of this turn. If this card is in your hand or field and it's used as fusion material and sent to the graveyard, or it's banished, you can special summon this card. And this is your 3000 attack body Despia, so I like having two copies. Some people only play one. I don't think you need three. I like two of each of these guys. I also play the one Despian Tragedy. If this card's sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can add one Despia monster from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one branded spell or trap card in your graveyard, and you can set it to your side of the field. Then I do play a small Shadal package. So I have two copies of Squamata, one Hedgehog, one Beast, one Dragon, and one Wendy. I like double Squamata. I feel like it's the best one. And then just one of all the other good Shadal monsters. The rest of the monsters are hand traps. So I'm playing double copies of Ash, double copies of Ghost Bell, double copies of Effect Veiler, and then we have the Gamma package as well. So you can play whatever type of hand trap lineup you want. I just wanted to have a variety of different ones in here to stop different things. For a while I was playing triple copies of Ash and triple copies of Veiler and no Ghost Spells, but Ghost Spell still comes up. Um, but yeah, kind of just play whatever hand traps you want, plus you can side into different ones if you want to. All right, so then moving on to the spells, I play three copies of Branded Opening. This is a really good quick play spell. You can discard one card, then take one Despia monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. This also has a protection effect, so if a fusion monster you control would be destroyed by battle or a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Really, really powerful spell. I really like this card. And then for the last Despia, 
card in the deck. I play the one copy of Theater. This is a nice little field spell, but Magical Meltdown is the MVP card when it comes to field spells for this deck. But with Despia Theater, during your main phase, you can fusion summon one level eight or higher fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If a face-up non-fusion fairy monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect or is destroyed by battle, you can target one level eight or higher fusion monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So that's definitely good for being able to fusion summon into your despias and then you can reuse them too if they're in your graveyard. But then we have triple copies of Magical Meltdown. Such a good card, don't really need to explain it. Two copies of Invocation, moving on into our fusion spells. And then we have three copies of Shadal Fusion. And then some Saki one ofs. Well, this card isn't really Saki, but basically terraforming to search out whichever uh, field spell you might need. But then we have Monster Reborn and Called by the Grave. Yeah, these cards are really good. If you see these, uh, they can definitely give you advantage. And for the last card of the deck, a nice secret rare upgrade. I play the one Shadal Schism. Gotta play it. And I really like the Megatin secret foiling that it got. All right, moving on to the extra deck. Starting with the Despian Fusions, we have two copies of Quiritus and one... Oh, I don't even know how to say the name, but this is the bigger fusion monster. Although Quiritus is the better one, I still like playing the one big guy here. So with Quiritus, he's made with one Despia monster and then one light or dark monster. During the main phase, it's a quick effect. You can change the attack of all monsters currently on the field to zero, except your level eight or higher fusion monsters. And if this card leaves the field because of a, an opponent's card effect, you can add to your hand or special summon one Fallen of Albaz or one Despia monster from your deck. This is huge. I do like that this has some Fallen of Albaz uh, synergy because that structure deck is apparently coming out. Who knows when, but he's getting his own structure deck and there's some cool fusion monsters and that whole lore I think is super interesting. That doesn't matter in this deck though. You're going to be special summoning out another Despia monster from your deck, but really cool card. Being able to drop everybody's attack to zero is really good and it can help you get over things. And then we have the bigger Despian here. This is made with a Despian monster and then one light and one dark. So you do need an extra material. That's why it doesn't come up all the time, but I thought, why not put it in here? It's a 3200 attack monster. It has a quick effect where you can target one fusion synchro exceed or link monster in your opponent's graveyard, and you can either banish it or special summon it to your side of the field. And then if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack or defense, whichever one is higher. I just thought this guy looked so cool and I thought one copy would be nice. The extra deck is pretty tight though, so if you want to take this out for something a little bit better, you could, but it's been fine so far. I've gone into it a few times. It doesn't come up a lot though. For the other fusions, we have two copies of Makaba. Such a great fusion monster. This is one you go into a lot. Then one copy of Purgatrio and one copy of Agoides. For the Shadal fusions, I'm playing two copies of Winda, one Construct, and one Abcalone. Winda is Winda. It wins you games. And then just because space is kind of tight, I am playing only one Construct and one Abcalone. Abcalone is still nice to have. Um, I would maybe consider bumping up Construct to two. If anything, I'd probably cut out the bigger Despian fusion that I'm playing one of uh, to include a second Construct, but I think one Construct and one Abcalone is totally fine. If you're not playing the Despians, if you're playing, you know, Shadal Dogmatica invoked or just Shadal invoked, you're probably going to want to play more constructs. But in this particular build, because we have a few more fusion slots that we need to fill in with the Despian fusions, uh, yeah, one construct is all I could fit in, but it's been fine so far. No real complaints. And then for our links, we have the one Almirage, one Secure Gardener, one Artemis, 
and the one Preta Plant Verte Anaconda. So there you guys have it. That is my Despia Invoked Shadal deck profile. This is definitely a deck that I want to keep on testing and making better, and maybe even experiment with the Dogmatica cards in here. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, deck profiles, and openings coming very soon. Don't forget to check out your playmat down in the description below if you're looking for any custom TCG accessories, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you take care. Peace out, and have a good one.